Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's heal ourselves various ways with the healer's deck. Even though I'd only have these grass Pokemon, I have it more balanced towards the grass energy because the grass Pokemon tend to have very, very specific energy types. And I chose this Bulbasaur for the Leech Seed, of course. Heal. Leech Seed. Heal. But Fine Whip's not that bad in and of itself. But I also chose Phantom Venusaur for the solar power, because I can heal both active Pokémon of statics conditions, unless Venusaur has one itself, but... Kinda ironic if you think about it, but... <laughs> uh, Mega Drain to heal damage off itself, again, very, very specific energy types compared to the rest. Abra chose this one for the size Shock and higher HP than normal Abra. Uh, Kadabra... Recover, of course, but Psy, uh, Super Psy there is pretty nice, you know, 50 damage. Uh, Alakazam, damage swap, that's another part of the healing dealio, because I'll combine this with Pokemon Center, and stuff like Chansey. Mr. Mime, also a good combo with Alakazam, because it prevents all damage that's 30 and up, unless it has some sort of status condition, so I can basically heal Mr. Mime infinitely, unless I fill up on damage counters, but... <laughs> And there's the Chansey for the damage sponge, you got two of those bad boys. And here's the Pokemon Center. I gotta watch what I use this on, because it'll discard the energy cards, but as long as I'm moving damage counters around, I should be able to avoid the energy discard, especially if I'm not attaching energy to Chansey and stuff like that. Um, the, other than that, the trainer cards are pretty standard. I have three Professor Oak, though, instead of four, because uh, it's probably gonna be kind of a stall deck. So I figured this might be better to not draw out my entire deck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than that, yeah, pretty standard stuff in that regard. And a, a thing to note with this deck, though, is that it, a lot of Pokémon require two energy to actually do some sort of attack. Which is unfortunate for this sort of thing, but it's kind of a balancer for the heals. We shall see if that becomes a factor. It could very well be, because... I have terrible coin flip odds. <laughs> anyway, we reshuffle. Got 12 basic Pokemon, so I should. Um, I was gonna say, so I should be able to get two in the opening hands, probability-wise, because you know you're drawing seven cards. T 12 is over a sixth of the deck, so <laughs> anyway, I, I, I would never discount the possibility of me getting horrendous coin flips. Thus, that uh, pit pincer is very, very possible to be a threat. Oh. <laughs> well, it's gonna be iron gripping poor Abra then, I guess. <laughs> and, yep. Yep, that's what I thought. And, of course, you get heads. Because I get tails, you get heads. That's how things roll. So now I am forced to Professor Oak. Because I don't really have much of a choice other than the uh, Abra, you know, letting the Abra get knocked out. Um, I could trade for a uh, Kadabra. You know, trade Alakazam to go into Kadabra. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> that that's pretty nice too. Um. I think I'll do that then, because Pinsir requires four for the guillotine. And I'll just use recover on the next turn. I can't yeah, can't do anything like that. Uh yeah, I'll call it a turn. It's just it's all about the math right now, so <laughs> Ooh, poisonous stuff. Uh though the Venusaur could help with that. Oh ho ho. Wow, of course you got the paralysis. Why wouldn't you get the paralysis or something like that? <laughs> Uh, I guess that means I'm not recovering, so we're gonna go Alakazam. And we're gonna use Damage Shop to move it to stuff on the bench for the sake of safety. And yeah, Professor Oak, because I can't really use Pokemon Trader for anything right now. I got that Kadabra ahead of expe expectations. There we go. With that Chansey in play, now we can move the Damage Counters over to it. Yes, please. So we go like that. We go like this, I say. And with the Mr. Mime combo down there, we should be good to go as well. And... oh, that's right, that's... <laughs> I forgot! I forgot! And... Put that in play as well, just in case I could get a Venusaur going. 
And nice heads for the Confusery to stall that pincer out, because it's probably not going to attack now. I mean, it could attack. Oh, you need a switch. Uh, poisonous Secretion may be a factor, because, you know, if I don't get said Venusaur, possibly, maybe, but I am definitely going to go for that Venusaur. And just for the sake of safety here, I'm going to actually move the one damage counter over to the Chansey. Yup. And Confusery. So, this is going to automatically poison Alakazam, of course, as you know with this Kakuna. But, I'll be able to knock out Kakuna in two attacks, so... I think that'll be quite beneficial. And if I can get said Venusaur, that'll be even more beneficial. And Confusion damage. You opponents rarely attack with uh, uh, Confused Pokémon, but I guess, if you think about it, it would have been knocked out anyway, so it makes sense. And check out that damn oops, check out that damage swap moving it to the that chancy down there. How do you like that? <laughs> and finish off the Kakuna. Of course it's not gonna stop the damage between turns, but with infinite heals here, it's uh it kinda might as well, if you think about it, because it's not it's gonna be very difficult to hit for 80 damage on Alakazam. Well, actually, technically 60, because two poisons between turns. And, yeah. And Venusaur would be nice. Nah. Well, I can't use Alakazam's damage swap now. But, I could stall out the Tangela. Maybe. <laughs> and call it a turn. Yeah, when it's got Paralysis status condition, it's not a... It's not able to use the damage swap, which is kind of the weakness. And now I can use the damage swap. What if I should go for the uh, Pokemon Center after that? Because I'm gonna end up running out of space here soon, so... And I was thinking of going for another Kadabra, if possible. Why do I keep double-tapping things? I mean... I don't know... <laughs> what? I, th I think that's because I'm so used to confirming stuff. And... Oh, I should have just pressed up to get... No. That was inefficient, but what can you do? So yeah, I'm gonna go do that for now. I mean, you know, I, don't, I don't have to use the, uh, the Pokemon Center right now, but I'm just gonna kind of set things up for the future here. I still don't have uh, any decent heals for Alakazam, though, so, so hopefully things will be okay. <laughs> no energy card for the opponent, so that's kind of nice. And... Well... Oops. <laughs> I am not handling my clicks very well today. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go put that on there in case of a Venusaur. Confusory. Da -da 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 -da. I didn't actually need that head flip, but it's kind of <laughs> kind of nice to see I can get head flips. <laughs> uh, challenge. Maybe I can get Venusaur. Maybe I can get Pokemon Trader for Venusaur. Who knows? Uh, all I know is he's kind of stalling at this point. <laughs> I mean, that, that kind of was a successful stall, but I mean, that I, I've got a lot of board control in my favor here. Kadabra. And said challenge, I gotta see what I get out of that. Pokemon Breeder. Well, yeah, I could use that for the other. Yeah, but as of right now, we're done. <laughs> I might have no... Ch oh, I just realized I might have made a mistake there. Maybe I should have Pokemon Center to save Alakazam with damage swap, but... Too late now, because, you know, the poison is still in effect. And 20, yeah. Yeah, I didn't math. <laughs> yeah, I should be fine, though. I got Ivysaur. And there we go. Probably now should do the Pokemon Center dealio here. So it's going to heal 90 off Chansey, 30 off of Mr. Mime, 30 off of Alvisar. And Vine Whip, I suppose, just to be extra powerful, to, to flex my IV, I guess you could say, I don't know. And yeah, I think she's kind of stuck at this moment now, because I don't think she's really going to be able to get out of this predicament, because I think Pinsir's got a two retreat cost, which means it's going to burn energy to retreat, oh, it's one retreat cost, I was going to say it's going to burn energy to retreat, so, yeah. Uh, she might be able to get something off on 
with the site there, but I think I will be well established damage wise to the point that she's gonna have to switch to Scyther then. Yep. <laughs> Attaching energy to Scyther, uh huh. So yeah, it's just it's just a matter of lockdown now. As a matter of fact, why not? Let's go ahead and use solar power there and if I need it. And Mega Drain does the same amount of damage as Divine Whip, so we are good to go there. We are kind of a slow start, but <laughs> Uh, well, we're, we're kind of back in the game here. I don't know why you use Defender on the site there when I'm able to do 40, unless you're just dumping out your hand for the sake of dumping out your hand, like I've done before with uh, Professor Oak. Razor mm, Leaf, not that big of a deal because I'm going to be healing 20 per turn. Put that on Mr. My Mega Drain. There is the 40, and then I heal the 20. <laughs> Since the whole heal deck idea here, you'd have to switch. Oh, I was gonna say she's gonna have to switch, but maybe she can't switch. Is everything filled up? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the Bellsprout is the only thing that's at full, but it's only got 40 HP, so might as well attack and win that game. Happy days! Well, hopefully, we won't have that slow of a start next game. <laughs> now, Amanda, let's go! And I noticed something with the Water Club members. They always seem to have the Psychic symbol <laughs> next to their... Uh, you know, like how their Elemental type dealio. Yeah, it's like they must have flubbed something in the, in the patch for translation, or maybe it, it uh, was actually in the original game or something like that. Not too sure. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and Psy Shock, of course. I'm not gonna Professor Oak just yet. In expectation that, that I'm gonna get another another something, you know, in in a decent draw next turn, and that Abra will survive. In theory, it should, because I don't want to discard my Cadabra. That'd be that'd be kind of a tragedy to discard the Cadabra. Um, I, hmm. I don't know if I want to energy removal that. Crabby or not, I may want to, <laughs> because the, the Crabby can do, yeah, a guillotine for 30, so she could switch in any time, so I should probably stall that out, and so shock. Assuming that could have, I mean, Abra will make it, so we're gonna just shock. Maybe I should have attached the energy, you know, grass to Abra out so I can get Super Psy going. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know what it is. <laughs> because it, it, it's not very specific right now, the energy types. Like, I, I mean, I, excuse me, what I have in hand right now, so it's kind of. kind of, I gotta play this by ear here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot go straight up the Venusaur, too, so I'm gonna have to go hopefully stall out with Abra alone. Because I, I wanna get all the critters that I have in hand in play before I. Uh, Ooh, that could be a problem. Before I, uh, uh, actually use Professor Oak. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now we're looking good here. So that's why I didn't want to discard things, because they could be, they could be common. And they were certainly a common. <laughs> so, Cadaver will most certainly be able to survive a Star Freeze now. So, we should be good. Ooh, Kingler. That's got a pretty powerful little attack there. If you didn't remember that Kingler, it's got the double-edged claw. Aha, uh -huh. but I can do double damage to it. But I don't want to hit, be hit with that 80, because it can knock out Alakazam outright. And there's Venusaur. And yeah, it's Professor Oak time. <laughs> I got the two bruisers in play without using Trader and Breeder, interestingly enough. And I guess I'll focus with the uh, Alakazam then. And I guess Chansey in play, because Pokemon power, damage swap. <laughs> See where this is going? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I can then use Pokemon Center later to heal up the critters, because Chansey's not going to have any energy cards, so... Alright. You do your Star Freeze. I mean, I won't be able to damage swap if Alakazam has a sta status effect. It's kind of the weakness of Alakazam, but... Since I've got something decently established there, 
Um, might as well, you know? I'm just kinda, <laughs> kinda use it as such. Maybe what I should do is get a cadaver in play. Possibly. Because cadaver's got a lot of attack power and. Yep. Anyway. Star Freeze again, of course. Tis the best attack right now. And, oh, wait, I didn't. I didn't damage swap that off of Alakazam. That might have been a mistake! <laughs> Actually, no, it's not, because Solar Power comes into play. Ah, it heals both active Pokémon of status conditions. How do you like those apples? <laughs> yeah, I want to show you that one of these days. I thought it, I thought I would let it happen, actually. And now accepting the challenge. Psychic and might as well put that. <laughs> might as well put that in play. Um. I could probably afford to discard the Alakazam, because I already got one in play, so let's see what we get before we kind of do any hasty attacks, I guess you could say. Energy removal, definitely on the Kingler. And... I think I'll put Chansey in there for more damage absorption. And Confuse Ray. And I, I could have more Chanseys in the deck, of course, but... Because they don't really contribute that much to the deck strategy, I only put two. Because, yeah, you can attack with double edge, but considering this is a healing deck, you don't want to do 80 damage to yourself, you know? And... Here we go! With the show! Why do I keep double tapping out of <laughs> Um... Yeah, Confuser Ray. Oh. Well, it would have been nice if I could have got heads off that, but, you know. As you know, I get tails, the opponent gets heads. You know, that could actually work for me in some situations with Mr. Mime. Because if the opponent is going to do more damage than uh, is below Mr. Mime's threshold, then uh, then it's going to be basically undamaged by anything in general. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do that. Damage swap, going over to the Chansey, and Confuse Ray. Unfortunately, that wasn't uh, able to knock it out because of the heals, but eh. And now I got Confusion. <laughs> and you could never, never take into account that heal may be coming. Unless you see the Pokemon in play with that move, you know. And oh, there's the Mr. Mime. Oh, oh well. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to discard it now. I'm. <laughs> uh, I guess. I don't know. No, I also don't want to attach energy to stuff that. Yeah. I might have to use damage swap for. But anyway, I'm gonna confuse your a, a shoulder and take another prize card. So let's go. And you notice know, with this deck that I'm using, it doesn't use that much energy. I mean, it, excuse me, it doesn't do, use that much damage for the energy, but it's more about the heals for, yeah. And the Tails was a fail, and I got, oh shoot, the other Mr. Mime. Oh man. Oh man. That's, well. Well, maybe I can get Confusion off this. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter then, because I was going to say the, uh, Confusion on Kingler, because it's got to do two attacks, will be kind of a death sentence to it, yeah. Because it's, it's going to be difficult to power up otherwise. So, just keep on Confuse Ring. And I should also probably click through things faster than I am right now, because uh, since this deck that I'm using is kind of on the slow side, yes, should probably be a little bit on the quicker side and Confuse Ring to finish off the Kingler. And if she puts in something that's got something that I can knock out pretty quick with something else, I'll just switch over to it, like, I guess, Cadaver there with Super Psy. Uh, but I, I won't need to with Tentacool. We're just gonna go Confuse Ray and end that game like a pro. <laughs> I like, why attach the energy and stuff when you don't have to just kind of speed things along fast, you know, more than, or quicker than when you should. I mean, than we, than we otherwise would. There we go. That, that's how I wanted to say it. But anyway, Brandon is up next with Lightning Critters, which, with my coin flip luck, could be a big issue. So I would like to have some Venusaur, please. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice. 
Pokemon Trainer, Pokemon Breeder, anything will work. Uh, well, I put up Mr. Mime and then Bulbasaur because I can go Ivysaur depending on what he's got out there. It'd be nice if he had a, a Voltorb barrage, <laughs> you know, and then it did too much damage to Mr. Mime. Uh, with the. Yeah, anyway. Uh. Probably should focus on attacking with Mr. Mime. And calling it a turn. Because, yeah, I won't be able to do much with the Ivysaur with the energy cards that I have right now, anyway. So, Mr. Mime is my best shot, despite the impending gnawing. But it's only, it's gonna take four attacks because Pikachu is outside of the threshold with Thunder Jolt. So Thunder Jolt will do zero damage to Mr. Mime. And Meditate! So now with this, the damage is just gonna keep increasing turn after turn. Because it does 10 plus 10 more for each damage counter. Ideally, you know, Mr. Mime is best combined with Alkazam, but in this sort of situation, I just kind of don't have that, so... <laughs> gotta do what I've gotta do, and I guess allow the gnaws to happening <laughs> to happen for now. Ooh! 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 <laughs> and with Pokémon Power? And, but no, with that Pokémon Power of Damage Swap, I'm actually gonna move them to Bulbasaur, which I'm going to evolve into Ivysaur, like so, and then we meditate. So now, we've got a basically invincible Mr. Mime, as long as I keep remembering to do the damage swap, because, well, I guess Eevee's kind of an issue, because now it's got the resistance, but yeah, the, the Mr. Mime here can pretty much stall out indefinitely. So that's probably game over! <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's able to uh, do some sort of status condition to Mr. Mime or knock out my Alakazam, but I'm not going to put out Alakazam in this sort of situation. I'm just going to keep stalling until I get... Yep, see what I mean? Did not receive any damage for the <laughs> coin flips. Because you see, the quick attack, if they get the heads for once, it's to their detriment! <laughs> and... Well, I probably should. Maybe, just just a case for the future. And then Professor Oak. So now, with a fresh hand, we might be able to get an even more powerful attacker going here. Like maybe Abra into Kadabra, or maybe focus on the Ivysaur. Possibly, and maybe. Oops, that's right. <laughs> I think I'm going to go and... Wipe out Jolteon's energy just for the sake of safety sake, because it's possible tails could happen, but you know, with the with the way that the opponent coin flips heads against me, well maybe not. <laughs> uh why would you do the switcheroo when well I mean, it's got more HP, but I, I don't know, it just seemed kinda of like an odd choice there. Eh, Ivysaur. Uh-huh. <laughs> Might as well knock out the Pika, and call it a turn off, until Dion's back off. So I guess that was more to save the Jolteon for the future? Maybe? I... I don't know? Because <laughs> that's a... I don't know. <laughs> um, put down an Ivysaur, meditate, I might actually switch over to the Ivysaur and then damage swap the counters around uh, accordingly. Ooh, yeah, well, because the thing about it is I won't be able to do 40 damage with the uh, Mr. Mime, but I can with the Ivysaur. And now I kind of think I should switch because of the Mr. Mime issue. So, well, actually, I should challenge first. Didn't accept. Might be able to get Chansey with Pokemon Center. Well, there's Poke <laughs> this Pokemon Center is called. Uh, then... Oops. Wait, what did that say? You cannot use this Pokemon power. <laughs> it's supposed to say you cannot. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, damage swap. We're gonna move these over to Pokemon that don't have any sort of energy attached to them for the future. Um. Future uh, Pokemon Center, excuse me. And then we go to Ivysaur. 
I suppose I shall go Kadabra. And I'm not gonna Pokemon Center just yet, so let's go ahead and what Vine Whip. Call it a turn. Don't even need to use the uh, healing properties because Ivysaur doesn't have any sort of damage counters on it. And ooh, why? Your coin flips are not working for you today, is it there, computer AI? <laughs> so, Vine Whip. And call it a turn. Prize card, Jolteon is going to be KO'd relatively easily, unless some, some something happens to Ivysaur that's going to be unexpected. I, no, I don't think so, though. I mean, it's, it's 30, but guess what's going to happen to that? Is I going to plop it on Kadabra then? No, yeah, I'm just going to put it on there. Everything that doesn't have energy cards, basically, I'm going to put the damage counters on, and we're going to energy removal that Zapdos, because we don't want to have any sort of mega zaps in the future. Yes. Kind of been very stally first couple of games here, but in practice this deck usually works a lot better. <laughs> Energy removal, Zapdos. And I probably should Actually maybe I should hold off on that. Hmm. I'm do that. Yeah, I think I'll hold off on the energy, because I might want to do the heals, and <laughs> then if I do so, it'd be kind of kind of a thing. It would remove my nice energy cards. Ooh, guess who's coming out for dinner? I don't, I don't know why I said for dinner, but... <laughs> and let's give ourselves a powerful salad in play. And... Mega Drain! So now we're doing 40 and healing ourselves 20, should any damage occur to Venusaur. You might want to do a swap of that Zapdos if you can, and he cannot. So that is game over. So what the Venusaur can also heal status conditions, as I mentioned. You know, just, but it, I, I, I probably won't be able to use that if Venusaur is the active Pokémon. <laughs> Nikki. Grass versus grass, although I kind of have some psychic to boot, but details. <laughs> Actually, it's more psychic to boot. And, uh. I can't exactly attack with the Abra, but I could go straight into Venusaur. Next. Well, I should say next turn, two turns. Ah, poopers. Let's see if she gets That's that Bulbasaur. That could be a bit of an issue, though. Because they could do 30 damage by the next turn. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thank you, top deck! You are my savior! <laughs> I was thinking I might have to switch to Abra to save my Bulbasaur into Ivysaur, but... No, not this time. And... Thus, we're gonna go into the Ivysaur now. And we're gonna save the Professor Oak. And for now, Leech Seed. Because Bulbasaur is gonna be... Knocked out next turn, then, but, but, I was gonna say, I don't know if she's gonna attack with the Bulbasaur at full power, because I might actually be more of an ire than anything else that she's got on the field right now, and she actually might have a better chance with something else on the field. I didn't check her field, that's why I was kind of wondering. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want a Venusaur just yet, I'm just gonna go Leech Seed because I'm able to get the heals off, and other than that, I wouldn't be able to attack with the Venusaur too, so... I'm just gonna try and keep the pressure on her since she doesn't really have that high of HP into play or anything like that, so... See how that goes. Pokemon Breeder... Uh, if I had the Alakazam, I could plop on over there. But for now, Leech Seed. <laughs> And call it a turn. Yes, yes, I could have Vine Whipped, but at the moment in time, I'm, I'm doing pretty decently as is, so I think I'm gonna just keep on sticking with that. And see how that goes. Yeah, sure, of course, the heads will be probably a factor in the future, but now as long as I can't attack, I'm gonna go to Venusaur, because, yeah, I wouldn't be able to attack otherwise, and I might as well discard the Professor Oak. I mean, discard Pokemon Breeder with Professor Oak. 
And ooh, look at that! Look at that! Now I got a powerful attacker in general. I'll save the traitor for uh, possibly Alakazam, because I might be able to combine it with said uh, Mr. Mime or just in general damage damage saving. So yeah, I'll just call it a turn. And and paralysis. Now, unfortunately, this is kind of the loophole in Venusaur's power. You cannot use the Pokemon power when it is a sleep confuse or paralyze. Uh huh. Well, sleep paralyze and confuse, but details in the wording of things. Uh, Kadabra. I, I could actually go for, like, power up another Kadabra in general. But anyway, when Venusaur is able to attack again, it'll be healing 20 off of itself, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't even know if I will be able to attack ever, because coin flips. <laughs> yeah, should be fine, actually. It's got a lot of HP. Professor Oak, nice to see you there. So we're gonna go power up the other Kadabras, promise. Yes, yes, I'm not, uh... Oh, I should have used the traitor, dang it. I'm an idiot. Should have got the Mr. Mime, but might actually get... I got Mr. Mime anyway. <laughs> uh, can't see... Bulbasaur... Oh, no, that's right, yes. All filled and miscounted. And... Call it a turn, because we are paral... <laughs> we have paralysis. And Ivysaur is in play. Possible big explosion impending. Or not, I don't know. <laughs> All depends on how things go. I'm gonna go energy removal at Ivysaur, though. Do that. And... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go just Mega Drain then. I think we're in pretty decent shape, and then when we get the Alakazam, it'll be even even in better shape because of the damage swap. So it's just so as you see with this deck, it's mainly about getting Venusaur and Alakazam out, maybe with a little bit of Mr. Mime to boot. And well, she she's doing the same thing, but I could do more damage. Hello there. <laughs> and we're gonna go... Well, actually, I think I should just... Oops. No, no, no. Damage swap. Now, here's a little trick here. You don't... You're not gonna put all the damage counters on Chad C. Because you want to heal some of those with the Venusaur. You know what I mean? <laughs> and we're gonna put this on Mr. Mime for a possible future combo. And Mr. And Mega Drain the two damage counters away off of Venusaur. So now, with this, we got her in a lockdown situation where she can do 20 to me, but it's not gonna be that useful. <laughs> and healing herself, not gonna be that useful either, because the math is right in my favor in that regard. And... Mega Drain. Here we go. And yeah, I'd say that's kinda game over now. <laughs> oh, even Pokemon Center to boot. Uh, ooh, yeah, see with the low HP critters that she's got out, she's got to really hope for those head flips, and that was a no-go that turn. So that's going to be another prize card for me. And there's a Pokemon, <laughs> another Pokemon Center that's kind of kind of moot at this point, but I'll put that on Kadavra and Mega Drain. Because yeah, I don't think I'm going to evolve into another Alakazam now that I think about it, because Kadavra's got the higher attack power, and I could use the Kadavra's higher attack power for speedier attacks if need be. Ooh! Ooh! Look who's not getting the coin flips now! Ah! Oh! Not me! No! Not me! <laughs> Thank you, Drain. So with the heals, Venusaur stays on the field basically indefinitely because she can't do that much damage with anything on the field. She could possibly do, you know, I mean, well, she will do 20 with the Leech Seed, but eh. Uh -uh. And then all I'll do is switch over to Kadabra and win the game. Just seeing when I get challenge here really quick. Never ever accepting that challenge. And you know, I even got the energy removal as a, it's a little bonus. It's a two energy retreat, so that's pretty nice. And Super Sai as promised. <laughs> game over. Last opponent could be deadly. Could be mean! Could be unstoppable! Nope. <laughs> Steve. <laughs>
<laughs> it's, it's the legendary Zapdos. Oh no, he's, he's gonna be attacking himself all day, probably. Um, I guess in this situation I'll do Chansey. And Abra on the side. Call it a turn. I feel like it's scrunch with Chansey for quite a while with its high HP. Yeah, let's see what Steve has got here. Fossil excavation. Oh, come to think of it, the mysterious fossil to uh, Aerodactyl could be a big hindrance to my deck, so maybe that will be a uh, bigger issue than than I was expecting. But we'll see, because I still have a decent series of critters to go by here. Energy removal lot. Grass. And end the turn. I don't know if he's actually going to want to go straight over to Aerodactyl, even if he has it. Because he might not have his board set up and whatnot, so we shall see. Anyway, I can now do the scrunching. So that is what I will do in. Ow. <laughs> That's okay. We can always double edge too, but eh, it's not really the best idea. <laughs> just, just saying. He's Chansey, you know, the whole idea is the damage swap to Chansey and stuff like that. Ooh, challenge is nice. Uh, you know what I should do? Why am I not evolving straight to... Oh, that's right, I have Abra in play, not the Bulbasaur. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense why I'm not. <laughs> I forgot why. Oh, jeez, I'm a doofus. Okay, I'm gonna put this in play and... Scrunch. It's mainly for damage prevention. The uh, status effect of Thundershock will still go, th will possibly go through if he gets heads. Uh, it did not work, so zero damage, zero effect. And that also has a way of stopping the Thunder Punches as well. Uh, so there we go, Ivysaur. We just want to basically prevent him from stopping me from evolving with Aerodactyl. And now that we got Ivysaur, we should be pretty decent in terms of. Uh, um, just like general attack power, but I think I'm gonna hopefully maybe go into that Venusaur if at all possible. For now, I think I'm gonna go pop that on Abra and Scrunch. Oh. Uh, but I'm not going Venusaur right away because I can't attack with it without the more specific energy types. Like I said with this deck, I need the, the more grass type energy more than anything, so... Uh, ooh, Mr. Mime. Although, maybe I should put it into play in case of Aerodactyl. I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> At the very least, I'll just keep on stalling. It's a six prize card battle anyway, so... Oh, oh! Who will it hit? What will it hit? It will hit! Oh, it actually hit my Chansey. Wow, that was actually a successful attack. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the Bulbasaur and let him knock it out if he wants to. Because I already got the other Bulbasaur in play and oh, 10 damage to himself. I figured I, I still have the other Ivysaur dealio going there. Pokemon Center. That might be tempting to use because I could stall out with the... Eh, I don't know. Kind of lacking energy in general here, so just stalling. <laughs> Mysterious Fossil, but no Aerodactyl in sight. And Tails. Yeah, maybe I really should evolve into... the uh, Ivy... I mean, uh, into Venusaur. Let's go Chansey. This is the extra high HP. Abra... Put that in play. And I can also heal with Solar Power too, which is a bonus. And let's see what goes on with the Thunder Punch gets the extra damage, but chances are he won't get three heads in a row. But, you know, I, 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 this is computers we're talking about here, but I got Pokemon Center too, so that'll be a pretty nice addition for Chansey. And we shall see what he can get off. And he damages himself, so that's nice for me. So I, I'm still looking for some sort of draw power in general too, that'd be pretty nice. Can he do 50 damage at something? I don't think he can. Pe well, big fun there, but good luck with that. <laughs> Ending turn. And... I'll be... Whoop. Computer search. I clicked through that really quick. I, uh, whatever he chose, I wouldn't, be wouldn't have been able to see anyway, so it's fine. Mm, tails. Damage to yourself. 
And this is where the Pokemon Center comes into play, as a little bitty surprise. I think it's a Pokemon Trader. That could be nice for the Kadabra. As long as I can get another attacker in. There we go. Maybe my reshuffling will help me as well. So let's heal up 100 damage and call it a turn. So it's kind of a weird start, but <laughs> we're still in good shape. No big deal. He, he might as well. I mean, he might actually just knock himself out with his Zapdos for all we know. And end the turn. Also, he also may knock himself out with the Thunder Punch in general too, uh, if he attacks with Thunder Punch enough times. That is. And there's ten more there. Ivy Sword. I don't know if I want. I think I do because they both have the same energy requirements. Yeah, I definitely did want to. And in turn, of course. That's that's not gonna knock out Chansey. It's gonna leave with just ten. And challenge that could be nice. I mean, I should say it gives me something nice, possibly Trader. Idea. Um, if I go Abra into Alakazam, I, I can I can stall even more. But I go back up there, I'm not sure. I guess I just wanted to see what I had. <laughs> and so if I, if I go like that, then I could start damage swapping onto other critters, or I just let Chansey get knocked out and then put in Mr. Mime, which I might just do, because that's really going to mess up the Electabuzz. So yeah, I think I'll do that. He'll get another prize card and be down to three, but once I'm finally established, <laughs> eventually... <laughs> Um, and I can, since I'll be able to basically do this indefinitely, I think it'll be pretty good in that regard then. So, well... <laughs> this is both Pokémon breeders of all things. So I got both Venusaur and Alakazam out, which means I am gonna be able to stop said invisible wall issues. But more importantly... I, <laughs> more importantly, I'm going to... Plop that over. Actually, I'll put it on Ivysaur instead, because it doesn't have energy cards in case of uh, Pokemon Center, Delio, and end the turn. So, <laughs> well, we'll win this game eventually, I assure, you, I assure you. I mean, this is Steve we're talking about here. He may very well just peel of thunder himself into oblivion, if, if need be, so. Or big thunder himself into oblivion. Damn it. Oop. Yes. Damage swap, Ivysaur. Ah, what am I? I think, I think I'm automatically double-clicking because of confirmations. You know how you normally have to hit it twice to confirm? Yeah. And paralysis doesn't much matter, because... Well, actually, I don't even have to use Venusaur's Pokémon power, but if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> I'm not going to be attacking with Mr. Mime. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't uh, use Mr. Mime... I mean, excuse me, I wouldn't heal if uh, the opponent had a status condition. Um... I wonder if it's time for me to go to Venusaur. I probably should. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go retreat to Venusaur. We're also gonna leave that damage counter on to... Wait, wait, actually, hold on a sec. Idea. Damage swap. We're gonna move damage counters. <laughs> Just two of them to Venusaur. Ah, see what I did there? And then we Mega Drain the Electabuzz and heal those two damage counters. Alright, so now we've got ourselves something going here. <laughs> and with the Thunder Punch, it's gonna possibly do 40. And it did, but the thing is, is I'm just gonna move the damage counters around, and then, well, only two at a time. Damage swap, oop, damage swap, I say. To Ivysaur, I suppose. Not too concerned if that one gets knocked out because I already got the Venusaur out. Uh, might be able to get another Kadabra going on the side. And Mega Drain! Now, as you can see, he's kind of in a little bit of trouble. Because <laughs> I was finally able to get something going. Yeah, I, I figured you might think about swapping. <laughs> and heads, butts. But they're just gonna do the same thing and call it a turn. I don't know if I'll be able to actually 
win this, though, because this took me so long that I ran cards out of my deck. <laughs> we shall see, but hopefully I'll be able to pull this off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get five uh, prize cards out of this, just as long as I keep doing damage to his Pokémon. Uh, Super Potion's a little bit of a stall, but... Mm. Mm. It's not that big of a stall in hindsight, because of the, uh, it's just, just one turn, basically, and everything else that he's got out there, he probably doesn't want to put out. Well, I guess the other Electabuzz, I suppose, but... Uh, Mr. Mime, Pokemon Power, and it's Schwab, yada yada yada, you know the deal. And Mega Drain. I will run out of critters to move damage counters to eventually, so some uh, Pokemon Center copy would be pretty nice. You know, the second there, but we'll see. Okay, mm you do your 40, I will knock out that Electabuzz. How does that sound? Uh, Big Thunder, Zapdos there, could very well be game over for himself. Uh, if I let him actually attack with that, so... Uh, maybe I won't put stuff on the bench, but I should possibly get stuff set up for later in case of a Chansey or something like that. And I'm just gonna Mega Drain, because it's out of range of the Big Thunder of Zapdos anyway, so... We shall see. Oh, not even- he's not- he doesn't trust the Zapdos! <laughs> he's like, no! Uh-uh, not- not risking that, uh-uh! <laughs> Uh, unless he's just waiting to go for a Venusaur knockout with Big Thunder, you know, if I if I leave enough damage counters on it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I should probably do it like this. So I'm not putting out Alakazam in general. Oops, not putting out Alakazam in general because of the damage swap. So we're gonna energy removal. Probably the Selectabuzz, just to mess with them a little bit. Not the Zapdos, because who knows what that Zapdos is gonna hit anyway. <laughs> just, just see how things go with that. Uh, two Lightning, so that means he'll be able to... I was gonna say he's gonna try a Thunder Punch, but no, he's gonna go for the... Just the regular Thunder Shock instead. Interesting. Maybe because of the potential knockout factor. Uh, take a look at this. <laughs> With the Pokémon power of Solar Power, I can heal up my Venusaur, and that also has Solar Power, <laughs> so that will work out nicely. I think I'll put that on there because I might actually want to put out Alakazam at some point too, but we shall see. Oh, I should have put a damage counter on uh, Venusaur. That was a slight mistake, but we shall see how big of a mistake that was. Eh, probably not that, that big of a deal, because now he's getting low on HP anyway, so... Uh, might as well do that. And Mega Train, because it took 20 damage already anyway, so I might as well just heal it up and leave the damage counters as is. And that's it. Oh man! Here it is! Here it is! Oh no! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Oh, it actually hit my Pokémon. <laughs> So that was a little beneficial. <laughs> Zapdos is working for him today. Uh, that's energy removal. Zapdos, I suppose. And... I should definitely damage swap stuff over. Let's go from the other Venusaur to this Venusaur. And as a trick... Because that... Yeah, because it's doing so much damage, it won't be able to actually damage Mr. Mime. Um, also I'll do that, because now they're all out of range of the Big Thunder, basically. And Mega Drain, take it back up to 90 HP. And thus Big Thunder, should it happen again, will be not super beneficial. Oh, I was going to say, not super beneficial. Uh, can't do 60 with anything. So I'm just going to damage swap some counters over to Venusaur. I'll do it like that, because then Mr. Mime will be saved in case of some surprise something. Because, <laughs> you know, 20 damage and all like that. Yeah, he's just kind of stalling at this point. Thunder Crash. Uh, Tails, that's even worse because of the 
damage that I'm dishing out, I could actually go over to uh, Kadabra, right? Oh, that, oh, that's right, I evolved. Oh, no. oh man. <laughs> that's alright. Um, uh, Pokemon power, swap, you know the deal. Put one there, I guess we'll go... Still out of range of Zapdos anyway. And Mega Drain. So yeah, you can do a lot of damage with that Zapdos that he's got out now, but... I'm catching up with him and prize cards fast. So you might not want to keep... Oh, he did! I was gonna say, you might not want to keep that Zapdos out. That might have been a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> and it was, because the tail slip. Uh, Electabuzz has got a bunch of damage on it. Uh, still can't do more than... I can't... Wait, 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 hold on! No, no Mr. Mime wouldn't. Yeah. I was to say Mr. Mime with the Meditate, but no, nah, Electabuzz doesn't have enough damage on it. Uh, I'm definitely not using Professor Oak, by the way. That would be game over for myself. Uh, I'll just Mega Train. Because right now, I'm in pretty good shape here, and he is not, so... I'm just gonna heal those damage cards, and maybe he'll decide to put it in the Zapdos. Oh, Electro. Electro. Uh, that's only gonna be able to do 20... I mean, not... Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, 30 damage each attack. Sonic Boom is normally 20. That's how I was thinking of Sonic Boom. Um, oops. And damage swap. Let's go. Let's put a couple on Alakazam, like so. This is all about the math now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the other Alakazam for extra HP, if I can. And Mega Drain? You can't stall forever, you've only got two other Pokémon! <laughs> eh, it's such a weird game. It's like, of all, of all the Grand Masters, how am I being threatened by Steve? <laughs> anyway, I win. Because yeah, he ran out of HP, so... That's game over! There's, there's not, no other choice. I outlasted him with damage swap and healing, and that's the idea of this deck, is just keep on keeping on, basically, for as long as it can. And victory! Woo! It took a long time, but victory is still a victory. And we only need one more to get that coin. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we do, you know, get that coin, probably. Maybe, might be. I better get that coin. I've been working on this so long. <laughs>